Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix a VAN 9001 Valorant error on Windows. This tutorial will be quick, just make sure to subscribe and also leave a like if you will find this guide useful. So first of all, you want to go and check uh, on locals group policy, edit group policy on the control panel. You want to check a few things and um, try to do this uh, in a simple way without um, opening your BIOS. So first of all, you want to go on uh, computer configuration and then administrative templates. And after that, you want to click on this arrow under administrative templates, then on Windows components. Again, uh, click on that. And then you want to find a BitLocker drive encryption. Again, uh, click on the arrow and then operating system drives. You want to choose this folder. And on operating system drives, you want to find uh, a require additional authentication at startup. Double click on it. After that, you want to enable it and allow BitLocker without compatible TPM. Then click apply and OK. Now, if after that, uh, the problem still persists, you want to go to your system information. And on system information, you want to check your secure boot state. If it's on, then that's great. If not, you need to turn it on on uh, BIOS. And I'm going to show you just in a second. Uh, and also you want to check TPM. So you're going to check TPM, MSI, MSC, just like so. And the TPM is ready for use. It should be like that. Uh, now to open up your BIOS, you want to go to your settings and Windows update. On Windows Update, you want to click Advanced Options, scroll down until you see Recovery. And on Recovery, you will see Advanced Startup. So you want to choose that and click Restart Now and then Restart Now. Now, after that, once the Recovery options load, you want to click on Troubleshoot and then Advanced Options. On Advanced Options, you want to choose uh, UEFI Firmware Settings. And now you click Restart. Now from here, you want to go to Administer Secure Boot or Security Options. And after that, you want to make sure that it is enabled, as you can see, in for Secure Boot. Um, and Secure Boot status should be enabled. Now for me, the TPM, Trusted Computing, uh, option is on set Setup Utility. And here you want to choose security and you will see TPM configuration. So I just want to make sure that it is enabled. After you've done with all the settings, you're going to click save and exit. Now, once you turned on security boot and TPM, uh, you want to make sure that it is actually turned on. So again, go to system information, check the security boot if it's on and also TPM as previously. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. How you fix this error. If this uh, video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.